As China prepares for a conflict with Taiwan and a possible confrontation with the U.S. military, the nation is building up its arsenal. Today, the Asian superpower has the most extensive and diverse range of drone systems worldwide, from stealth and non-stealth to jet and propeller-powered. Notably, the Tengen Company's flagship is the TV-001, also known as the Twin-Tailed Scorpion. Revealed in mid-2017, it is part of a new Chinese military drone generation of armed reconnaissance vehicles, and it can carry no less than eight 100-pound anti-tank missiles. In 2022, the impressive unmanned combat aerial vehicle was caught on camera, carrying a whole load of air-to-ground munitions of missiles and bombs, including 12 AGM ordnance, five on each wing, plus two air-to-surface missiles on launcher racks on the underside. It was only a brief hint of the drone's outstanding capabilities. A promising development. Since 2016, the newly founded Chinese company Tengen has left an indelible mark. It has already succeeded in the military market and strives to bring innovative technologies to the commercial side. And with the necessary expertise and technical finesse, Tengen could plausibly revolutionize the drone industry altogether. Within six months, their first prototype, TW328 or TB001, was already in the air. An industry source affirmed the air vehicle performed an automatic takeoff from a civilian airport in southwestern China in January of 2020, adding that the drone flew a pre-programmed route for 25 minutes, landed, and taxied autonomously to be inspected at the airport. Then in 2021, the TB001 entered service with the People's Liberation Army. The medium-altitude long-endurance drone is powered by three engines, and as the company's specifications indicate, the prototype was derived from the 10 by 3.3 meter twin boom airframe of the production-ready model, with a wingspan of 20 meters. The TB001 is considerably different from the BZK005, the first UAV produced by the company. The larger, twin-engine, single-fuselage Scorpion was driven by a single propeller on each side and a high-mounted main wing. In contrast, the new iteration stands out as a long-endurance drone with a twin-boom tail, incorporating a forward-mounted turbocharged piston engine driving three-bladed propellers in a tractor configuration on each side. In an unusual move, a third push propeller is located at the end of the main fuselage. The drone's aft ends with a double vertical tail linked by a high tailplane, offering a structure that combines the tops of the two vertical tails and a supporting flat one that extends backward on the wing, bracing together. As for the landing gear, the main undercarriage is positioned right aft at the engines, while the nose gear is retractable. Its range reaches 6 to 8,000 kilometers, with a maximum flight time of 35 hours while its maximum takeoff weight is over 3,000 kilograms and its service ceiling rises to 32,808 feet. Regarding flight altitude, it is higher than the effective interception range of short-range surface-to-air missiles, enabling a safer operation. Capabilities The twin-tailed Scorpion qualifies as a reconnaissance strike UAV. Being a non-stealth drone with heavy weaponry, it was never meant to perform reconnaissance, track, or attack targets against long-range surface-to-air missiles, fighters, and UAVs entirely on its own. Instead, the unmanned aircraft is expected to provide ground support in situations where enemy air power, as well as anti-air batteries, are somehow degraded or totally immersed in another engagement with friendly forces. Moreover, the fuselage houses flight control systems, mission equipment, and a data link with a ventral position synthetic aperture radar, or SAR, module. It also has a ventral stabilized electro-optical infrared, or EOIR, turret, and the system can be furnished to customer-specific needs and requirements in terms of its payload. Likewise, the TB001 showcases an electro-optical tracking system ahead of the ventral missile launchers. As such, it can perform in a bomb truck manner and be useful when taking out heavy concentrations of ground targets. 
In such cases, the drone can be called in to release its cargo and rush back due to the combination of its own electro-optical tracking system with that of other friendly stealth drones, fighter jets, or ground assets. Bomb Truck Unlike the BZK-005, the TB-001 was designed as an armed drone from the outset, rather than a multi-intelligence gathering platform, and it features four underwing hardpoints and a sensor turret underneath. With such capabilities, the TB-001 grants other ground assets the opportunity to be lightly armed or mobile, while friendly ground forces can opt to be heavily armed, transforming the drone's air support into additional firepower. Other situations call for a coordinated strike between ground forces, which can address air defenses, while the twin-tailed scorpion assaults bunkers, command centers, or even armored vehicles that threaten to capture and hold land territory. Equipped with 20kg AR-2 air-to-ground missiles, the UAV can dismantle diverse targets such as light vehicles or enemy ground troops, among others. Even so, to wipe out heavy marks or fortifications, Chinese engineers were forced to introduce the 80kg AR-4 air-to-ground missile. With a range of 20 kilometers and an altitude of 7,000 meters, the projectile is far superior to the American-built Hellfire. And most remarkably, the missile can use infrared, TV, or millimeter wave radar seeker. For all the promise the drone has shown in the military market, Tengen has manifested an appetite for the juicier commercial and civilian markets. A few tweaks and alterations have allowed the UAV to carry benign cargo, proving that the drone can indeed be customized for the most specific missions. Nevertheless, as the Japan Air Self-Defense Force, or JASDF, might say, the TB-001 has been up to no good. Suspicion In the span of three days, three drones from China's People's Liberation Army were spotted flying in the vicinity of Okinawa. In response, the JASDF sent fighter jets to monitor the intrusion in the East China Sea and the Miyako Strait. The unusual activities began on August 24, 2021, with a lone scorpion intruding into the considerable body of water northwest of the Japanese island. The following day, a Harbin BZK-00 flew a sortie back and forth through the strait and the third day, another TB-001 followed a similar path. Not only did the intercepts underscore the evolving UAV capabilities of the Chinese military, but also the utter significance of the maritime passage to the broader Western Pacific Ocean, and with it, the precious territory of Taiwan. More likely than not, the TB-001 will be of great use in attacking land targets in the region. In fact, the drone has already conducted its first operational sorties, overflying the East China Sea on its own and then the Miyako Strait, escorted by a pair of Shanxi Y-9 aircraft. The new drones have allowed the Asian superpower to collect multiple types of intelligence across the strategic strait, from mapping electronic emissions from air defense systems to gathering imagery of vessels of interest from incredibly detailed radar maps. Considering Chinese carrier fleets traverse the strait on a regular basis, the new aerial capabilities of the powerful drones are particularly critical. The Chinese model lies somewhere between the American MQ-1 to MQ-9 class, but the country has far more advanced systems, both in operation and in the pipeline. However, with its mere presence, the twin-tailed scorpion keeps the entire region on high alert, all while conducting non-combatant tasks. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Dark Tech. We have many more technological developments to share with you, and we don't want you to miss out. Also, don't forget to check out our other Dark Documentaries channels for more exciting content. And stay tuned for more thrilling stories from modern warfare.